Hey, I've got a really fun, small trick for you today, and it's not related to anything in the nether regions. This video definitely isn't a filler because I'm working on a bunch of bigger videos and I had nothing planned for this week. And please excuse the fact that my room looks like a brothel at the moment. There's nothing I can do. I've lost the remote to change the colors of the lights. <laughs> so I got a message from somebody who had watched my Stream Deck video. It's somewhere on screen. And they wanted to know how you program the Stream Deck to work on a long press. So typically Stream Decks work just by tapping a button and something happens. And I found a really cool way of not only doing that, but also also adding a long press functionality to pretty much anything, any software, any tool that allows hotkeys and there's a couple of other ways of doing it. So let's stop with the rambling and jump in and I'll show you how everything works. This can get a little bit tedious and a little bit complicated, so bear with me. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions or jump into the Discord and I will help you the same way that I help the other person. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, so here we are in my Stream Deck test folder. This is becoming more and more of a, <laughs> a regular visit as we do these videos. First and foremost, you're going to want to go ahead and tap on this guy right here, which is for the plugins and extensions. And then you're going to want to search for Super Macro. So it's going to be this one here by Bar Raider, who makes the best extensions for the Stream Deck. Little blue icon, mouse, keyboard, all that kind of stuff. And then tap the button just underneath my camera because I'm an idiot and put it in the way and that will put it on your stream deck. From here, you're going to want to go ahead to your search bar up top and you want to drag super macro over here. Okay, so this is the one we're going to be doing today. Explaining this as simply as it possibly can, when you press this button, it's going to run a sequence of events that you can program. You have two boxes, a short press, which is just tapping the button, and just underneath that, you have a long press, which is holding the button down. And finally, underneath all of that, you can actually change how long you have to hold the button down to be able to summon the action. And then you can also add delays, and there's a bunch of weird stuff at the bottom, but don't worry about any of that for now. If you do want a full breakdown of how how to use this properly with all the fancy techie stuff. Just click this little link right here and we'll take you to the website where it breaks everything down in a super digestible, easy, fun way of doing things. But we're not going to worry about any of this for now. Let's say that if I'm in OBS and I have a hotkey to start recording a video and it's number one, right? But I want to turn that into a long press. I don't want to accidentally start recording random things if I'm, hey, I've got big fat fingers. They're just bashing on the stream deck all the time. What you would want to do is go over here to the super macro, scroll down to the long press, which again, you have to hold the button down, press capture and tap number one. And that's it. So now you have the function that you would normally have in a stream deck to start recording or do whatever hotkey it is you would in other software, Premiere, Photoshop, whatever it is, but it's a long press now. So there's no way you can accidentally do that. And in addition to that, you could also set the short press to stop the recording. Or another example, short press could be control C, which copies something. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's aware of that. Why am I explaining it? And then the long press could be to paste. So you now have one button that does a bunch of different functions. It's pretty cool. I, I recognize that <laughs> I recognize that this is like probably a me problem or at least like a power user thing, but I found it really interesting. So I wanted to make a video on it. Um, I'm probably boring people to tears at this point. They're like, <laughs> brother, why, why are you so fussed about this? <laughs> it's cool, okay? Don't judge me. So a couple of really good uses that I found for this. Uh, like I said, we've got the streaming thing. So if you go live, Twitch, YouTube, whatever, and you don't wanna, you wanna have the button on Stream Deck, right? But you don't wanna accidentally start streaming while you're butt naked, program it so that you have to long press the button. There's no accidental streams that are gonna start happening. And voila. Now the chap on Discord who messaged me wanted to know if it was possible to long press to shut down your PC. Because obviously you don't want it shutting down while you're halfway through one of your kinky little videos that I know you lot already into. And that is possible as well, but we're gonna be using traditional macros where this little plugin is going to run a series of commands and it's pretty straightforward in a way if you know what you're doing. Again, feel free to click this button here and it'll explain everything to you, explain the prompts and how to do pauses and things like that. But very simply, if you wanted this action to long press to shut down your PC, this is what you would put in. And it looks a little bit complicated if you're unfamiliar with coding and things like that. But essentially all that's happening, win plus R, right? So you're pressing the Windows button plus R, which is the run, okay? So that, that that's just a normal function built into Windows. And then it waits 
for 500 milliseconds, half a second. Then all it's gonna do is type in shutdown ST0, paste it in here and then press enter. And then it will shut down your PC for you. I'm not gonna do that because, well, I'm recording a video, so that would be kind of counterproductive, but, <laughs> but you get the idea. And this can be done for a bunch of different functions and actions. I've got macros, I'll, I'll show you one of them. And it's kind of like a long-winded thing that's still in progress. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody's just left the video. Right? <laughs> no one's sticking around for this stuff. <laughs> So I make a lot of videos on my gaming channel. I then turn those videos into shorts, TikToks, etc. And I want to quickly add captions. The easiest way that I have found to do that is to use macros, which is something you can program using the Stream Deck by itself. And a couple of basic functions, the open web browsers, presses tab a couple of times. I'm sure you'd be able to figure it out if this is something that you're actually interested in. So this window here is going to open up Opus, which is the tool. It's going to scroll down to the upload bit. And then it's going to go over to the directory, paste the directory that my clip is going to be saved in. And voila, Opus is adding captions to it as we speak. And I tapped a single button. Okay, so the video is done. It's downloaded. If you want a full example on how to use that site, by the way, just let me know. But honestly, it's as simple as throwing a clip up and letting them do everything for you. Now we're going to upload it to the Google Drive folder. And again, this is super simple. You just tap a button. It opens up my Google Drive. It then goes in. It uploads the video. <laughs> And uh, I, I, I had already done this, but uh, you get the idea. Like it just, everything is automated and they can all be done using plugins and extensions like this. So that's all for today's video, but thank you so much for watching. If you have, and you're actually interested in this kind of stuff, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you want to see more stuff like this, that's like more techy and in-depth than things I normally make, let me know. And I'd be more than happy to make it. I love your faces. You're amazing and beautiful. And I will catch you in the next one.